Hey guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to the Chaos Vibration. This is Damian James. And in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can hack, create a visualization, actually get it to work for you using pop culture magic. And it is really made with people in mind who have the following hang up or limiting belief. I can't visualize. In this video, we're gonna start a little bit meta, talk about what pop culture magic means to me and how it can actually be used to enhance manifestation, even if you are into traditional spirituality. As always, question me, question everything, hit the bell and subscribe notifications for more content in the future. So I just wanna start by saying this today. Um, anyone who's been with this channel for a while may have seen some episodes from the pop culture slash modern mythos magic mini series here on this channel. I've also called it Ego Magic in the past. But anyway, um, what I found as I've been practicing this is that in my mind, pop culture magic and modern mythos magic are two different things. Now, most magicians throw modern mythos magic and pop culture magic under the same term, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. That obviously happens in magic, right? But to me, pop culture magic is something a little bit different, and it is simply using that which is popular in culture as a means to cast effective magic. And I'm not saying this with putting this down, but I would say the law of attraction stuff, the new age stuff, is pop culture magic. And what I mean when I say that is we are using that which is popular in our culture. The secret is essentially pop culture magic from that angle. Vision boards, affirmations, these are popular things people turn to to manifest. Binaural beats, and I don't have anything wrong with them, are another example of pop culture magic. I guess you could even say that um, things like zodiac readings, astrology readings, crystal shops, once again, if it works for you, great, but these things could be examples of pop culture magic or spirituality. They are things that are popular in our culture. But going beyond that, I want to talk about how, or a good example even, of how you can use my idea of pop culture magic to enhance your manifestation or spiritual practices. In today's case, we're going to talk about how you can use regular music to enhance creative visualization and why that's effective. So let's get the obvious out of the way. You spend some time on YouTube, in a book, on an online spiritual or manifestation workshop, there's always the limiting belief, complaint, or I guess you could say question, how do I get better at visualization? I can't visualize, so on and so forth. And forgive me if this is a little blunt, but right off the bat, I'm going to call bullshit on that. Everybody can visualize. This is, a little, this is a little bit of a PG-13 example, but if I said visualize, or maybe better yet said, imagine the best sex you ever had, you all can do it. It doesn't have to be a visual experience. What's important is that we somehow feel like we are processing the information, idea, et cetera, et cetera. It's more of a feeling. If I said visualize the best sex you ever had, some people may see the experience in their mind's eye. Some people will probably feel it in their body. Some people may just process the ideas, the concepts, so on and so forth. Either way, we may get aroused. Regardless of how that happens, you are in a sense visualizing, or once again, as I prefer to call it, having an imaginative or sensory driven experience. So right off the bat, we are demystifying the idea that it needs to be a crystal clear image in the mind. Now beyond that, here's what I found where people have hangups with visualization and it can be tricky. They're trying to visualize something that they don't have sensory memory of or something that's just a conceptual idea. To better understand this, allow me to elaborate. If I told most people, visualize the periodic tables from chemistry, most people could not do it. I couldn't either. Why is that? Well, for you, it's just a conceptual idea and you can't really visualize that. People that can are people that have had actual firsthand experience with it. People that do chemistry, people that like chemistry, it is more than concept. So where does the hang up come into play? Where does the disconnect come into play? Well, um, what I find is, and there's nothing wrong with this, people may try and visualize a spirit, an angel, Ganesha, so on and so forth, because they read about it in a book, but they don't have an experience with it. 
or they don't have an emotional trigger, which we'll talk about in a second. But when you think about it, that is concept, and I'm not saying that to disrespect the mystery traditions. I'm just saying that because it is what it is, and that's the, tr the fact of the matter. The New Age always talks about this, spirituality talks about this. Well, it's not enough to understand something conceptually and someone who can be intellectual, philosophical, resisted that, and I agree, and I'm trying to get better at that myself. But with that being said, in spite of fairness, what the occult books say is really just concept unless you can actualize it or experience it. Now, beyond that, what I wanna say is this. It sounds like I'm saying you need to have a prior experience to visualize properly, as I said with the sex example, or I guess another example could be your favorite movie. Anyone can visualize that, right? Um, but anyway, the other problem here is that essentially, there needs to be an emotional trigger. And allow me to elaborate. Let's say you want to visualize your wedding or something in a soulmate affair or a romantic affair, and I've been there. And you're using the binaural beats or a guided woo-woo meditation, and if it works for you, great. Here is where the disconnect comes into play. These things, these binaural beats, are in a certain sense audio concepts. Allow me to elaborate. In magic, we, we frequently talk about like corresponding to like. Well, do sonar woo -woo 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 make you think of love? There's some binaural beats I like, but those ones that go woo 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 woo, um, I feel like I'm on submarine. Now, unless we're going to meet our soulmate on a submarine, and yes, I'm kind of joking and being silly, but unless we're going to do that, that sound is triggering those emotions. Now, here is what I invite people to consider. What would happen if you put on a love song? A song that maybe you would want to put on when you're taking a joy joyride with that soulmate. And imagine where, where would you go on this joyride? Would that be easier? Probably. What if that person was a life partner, a twin flame, whatever you want to call it? And you put on the song you think you might like to dance to at your wedding. I've done this. Um, I found it's easier to visualize the cake, the person walking down the aisle, dancing with that person. You may feel them in your arms when you're meditating, if you're holding them dancing, so on and so forth. It makes a huge difference, and the reason is you have a, essentially, audio track that is feeding this emotion into your mind, so it's in alignment with that which you want to visualize. No pun intended when I say alignment. A good example could be, um, ladies, if you want to pick up a guy, now that things are opening up and going back out there, I've done this to the people I know who say they can't visualize, throw on that Ariana Grande song into you, not getting into whether the song's good or not, and maybe imagine yourself going out to the bar, the club, or wherever you go, and being attractive, being sexy, feeling that way, and that music is there to help actually get you feeling that way. Music evokes a state of emotion or invokes it, right? should be very easy to see where this is going. Now, the only other hang up people have is, well, don't I have to put on the 40 minute meditation and hold this image crystal clear in my mind for 40 minutes? If you can, great, all the more power to you. But I would say the short answer is no, you do not. And that's for very experienced meditators. We have to remember the people that are making guided meditations on YouTube are very experienced meditators. And they're probably just talking about their own experience in meditation, which could differ from yours. A, there's another disconnect there, but B, more importantly, here's what I want to elaborate on. Um, First off, no, you do not. And like meditation, it is about the quality of the experience, not the quantity. And to close this one off, I just want to give people a little insight. I think that three to five minutes about the length of a song of concentrated visualization fueled by emotion is what does the trick. It creates a mind-body connection, or it's just a more holistic experience. Experience. It's even more simplistic and practical to say. You're thinking about it, you're seeing it, and you feel the emotion, and that makes it easier for your sub or your unconscious mind to attach itself to, or let's just say identify with it. Now beyond that, while I'm not saying it's absolute or right, as always, question me, question everything. I don't just say that for it to be a tagline. This can also be supported in the book Modern Magic by Donald Michael Craig in his section, I believe it's called Kabbalistic Mental Magic. He'll say, essentially, 
to, sorry, he'll say essentially to hold an image in your mind for about five minutes, the length of a song. Now, I suppose in closing, we could speculate, well, do the binaural beats have frequencies and so on and so forth? Personally, I don't think it matters. I just go what runs with me. And if you believe that, fine, but it's worth being lucid at asking yourself, can any fool say 432 hertz or whatever, or this vibration is said frequency? How do you know for sure? That concludes this video. In closing, it's really about finding something that feeds the emotion and that will make it easier to visualize. It's also about the, qual the quality of the experience, not the quantity, and it's very easy to see how using something like a song can play into that for your favor, and you can do this for anything. That concludes this video. I hope this helps people. Let me know if this helps you turn your visualization around, and it's also a little bit more time, time efficient, which allows you more time to take inspired action to actually create the conditions to actualize your desires into the physical reality. Take care, everybody. I'll see you on the next video. Eudaimonia.